Hello everybody, we are in Mount Vernon, Virginia for the burial site of the first president of the United States, George Washington. We all know him, he's a freaking legend. Uh, before we get started here, I gotta say I'm not gonna be able to scream in front of his grave today. We are actually not allowed to film at Mount Vernon because it costs money. If you want to see Mount Vernon, you have to come yourself. However, I think we're allowed to take pictures, but for now, we gotta do a scream and I gotta do something. So I'm just gonna scream at the sign. George Washington for smash! All right, so here's George Washington's mansion over here, Mount Vernon. Now, I'm not sure if we're allowed to film here or not, but there's no one here stopping me, so might as well. We're gonna have right now with the Mount Vernon Ladies Association. Since 1853, they were the people, because by that time it was almost in ruin, so they had to repair it. Here's Bowling Green. Washington divides as the central element of his landscape. I'm not reading the name. Okay, so we just asked the lady. She said we're allowed to film outside, just not inside the house. So I want to go back in and jump on the bed. Mount Vernon Estate was built by Augustine Washington in 1735 when George Washington was only three years old. He passed away, I think, in 1740s something. Uh, and it passed to his half brother, Lawrence Washington. But he died, so then Washington got it after his half brother died. And in there, they got the painting, the original painting of Lawrence Washington. We're gonna check out the tower over here. Get a nice view of the Potomac River. So this is this is the river he used. It was very useful for his trade with the Caribbean and the uh, and Europe. So oh my God, it's awesome. They got a painting of Louis the Sixteenth in there. So yeah. Beautiful sun uh, off the water today. Looks really good. It's awesome. Man. This is the original house. It was never burnt down or anything. This is the in there. They have the bed up top where him and Martha slept, and he died in that bed in December of 1799. Now Lydia, Lydia is here today. What do you think about the mansion? We just did the mansion tour. So here's what happened. So it was built in 1735 originally when Washington was three years old. And then by his father, Augustine Washington. But um, his eldest son was Lawrence Washington, who was George's half-brother because he had two sons with the uh, first marriage. Um, and Lawrence inherited it in 1747, I think, when Augustine died. So then he had that, and then he died at some point. So then the next in line was George, because I guess Lawrence didn't have any kids. So then it was George Washington who inherited it, and he lived here the rest of his life and died in 1799 up in the top floor in bed. He died just two or three weeks before 1800. He's not the only one buried here. They also have a memorial, memorial for his enslaved people. And in his last will and testament, he wrote in the desk in there, he said that on Martha's death, death of his wife, and I think she died in like 1800 something, uh, that all of his slaves were to be free. So he did free his slaves in his will, which was pretty nice. And if Augustine Washington, his father, was born in 1694, so that would break my record. We might get new record breaks for cemeteries. Washington himself was born in 1732. So here's the clerk's office and headquarters right here. Uh, smokehouse. Right here. This is all original stuff, basically. At least, I'm not sure if this is original, but I know the mansion itself is. That's what they said. A lot, there's a lot of artifacts in there that are original, like the bed and some of the pictures. They have the, the painting of his brother Lawrence, half brother, and it's actually the original painting from whenever year it was. Painted. Here's the wash house. And then here's another yard. I don't think they're walking in there. The cars in the 1700s. We're watching the several horse-drawn vehicles. Slaves, including Joe and Jack, took care of Mount Vernon vehicles. Travel during the 18th century was difficult. Poorly maintained roads meant that even short journeys were hazardous and that vehicles wore out quickly. So this is all they have in the original one of the vehicles, I guess, he rode in. It's pretty cool. So Washington's coaches were main, made in Philadelphia. So during his presidency, Washington, D.C. didn't exist yet. So he was actually inaugurated in New York City, which was the in 1789. And then they moved the capital to Philadelphia. The Washington DC didn't get built until 1800. 
Uh, they started it in 1790, but he got out of office in 1797. So John Adams was actually the first president to stay in the, the White House. So Washington was the only one to not do it. So he actually stayed in New York and Philadelphia during the president. Kind of like his garage, I guess. Like where you would keep your car and garage, and that's the where kept the wagon. All right, here this looks like a um, forest trail, shopping and dining. We don't care about that stuff. Washington Tomb and the Slave Memorial Pioneer Farm. Oh, they got animals. We gotta check on the animals. Uh, come on. We'll go. Sheep. They got sheep over there. We'll we go gotta up. look. We will when we get back up. Okay, we're gonna look at the sheep when we get back up. I know you guys wanna see sheep. When you guys clicked on this video, I know you wanted to see sheep. That's what you were looking for. So the buildings are original. Some of this stuff, like obviously the plants were. Uh, there was a tree over there that was built in 1860, or plant was built. Planted in 1860. This is Eleanor Parker Lewis. I'm pretty sure after Washington died, he, Washington himself never had any biological children, but I think it might have passed. He did have stepchildren and half, well, he had stepchildren and adopted children. And I think who it passed to was a guy named uh, George Washington Park Custis. I think who was his, Martha's son with a different man or it was an adopted son. But his daughter actually married Robert E. Lee, and then they had the property out by Arlington Cemetery. So Washington and Robert E. Lee are actually kind of related in an immoral fashion. So uh, let me see where she died. She died in 1852 at the age of 74. And then we're here we go. I don't know this is here. But that's Eleanor Park Lewis. So I guess he was at the old tomb until 1830. Then they moved over here. Okay. John, obviously in Washington. He's buried in West Virginia. He's not actually buried here. He died in 1860. Devoted to wife of John Augustine Washington, born in 1786, died in 1855. Martha Washington died in 1802, and George died in 1799. So, slavery in Mount Vernon. In 1799, the estate was home to a community of 317 enslaved men and women. Men, women, and children who had no choice but to live here. Uh, most of these enslaved people lived and worked on the four outlying farms of agricultural laborers. About one quarter of the population worked here in the mansion house farm and as skilled laborers such as blacksmiths, carpenters, spinners, and steam stresses. Uh, in his will, Washington provided the freedom for the 123 of them he owned, effective upon Mrs. Washington's death. She freed them early on January 1st, 1801, and the remaining 194 um, were, remained enslaved after the deaths of General and Mrs. Washington. So I guess about Park Custis inside there. So I think George Washington Park Custis took over the mansion after Martha died uh, in 1802, or maybe after George in 1799. So he owned it until his death. I don't know when he died, but he was the father-in-law of Robert E. Lee because Robert E. Lee married his daughter. Uh, this is like yeah, 1929. This, this is new. This is new. September of 1983 by the Ladies Association. We got a grave over here. Okay, so I guess Park Custis died in 1860. Uh, so they were enslaved from 1760 to 1860, that 100 years period. And purple flower. So if you guys ever visit here and see the one with the purple flower, it's mine, okay? 
That one's mine, so you can say that's Mario Plush Bros. There's a rock on it. Huh? It's a bear rock. So look at these huge rocks over here. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, here we go. That's purple. All right, that's mine. It's gonna fly away, whatever. All right, guys, we're gonna check out the sheep, I promise. Here we go. There they are, there's some babies. Black one, white one, and yellow. Look at all those guys. Those guys are having a good time on the rain. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> they have no idea they're on George Washington's property. <laughs> we'll get close to these guys. Lambs, we got a baby out there laying. Baby boy. Let's go around the show the property. Of course, the lambs here take off again. Huh. Look at this guy here. He's a beauty one. Let's try to get in. Hey! Come here, buddy. I got food for you. 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 Oh, he's not just don't feed the animals. He's not buying it. <laughs> <laughs> Get the little baby over there. <laughs> it's a big boy right there. I know us. There's more sheep down there. What we got in here? Oh my god. They're so beefy. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> I just like... Oh man, they love sleeping. Come on, no, come on. Come on. We're going up to the house. We're, done, we're going up to the house. Oh, come on. Alright, guys, so with that Mount Vernon tour done, I want you guys to watch. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. We're off to Richmond to go see Hollywood Cemetery. So. Maybe a few more videos out from there today, so see you guys next time.